Hi, this is Fred. I'm going to walk you through the installation of BigBlueButton um, using the instructions right off the BigBlueButton developer documentation website. Here I have a Ubuntu 1404 server. I'm just going to check the locale. Looks good. It's a 64-bit server and it's running Ubuntu 1404. We're good to go install the latest release of BigBlueButton. First, we'll make sure we have the Multiverse installed as one of the available repositories for updating the server. Okay, it looks good. It's here in the sources list. If it's not, the instructions show you how to uh, add it. We're going to do an update. This will get the latest packages, including from the Multiverse. And then we're going to do an app get dist upgrade. And this will bring the entire packages on the server up to date. We do this before we install Big Blue Button. This way we're starting with an up-to-date server, it's clean, and the server should have no other web applications installed. You want to be installing BigBlueButton on a fresh, clean server. There should be no other software again running on this server. Next we're going to install the PPA for LibreOffice 4.3. This is the version of OpenOffice used by BigBlueButton. It converts MS documents into PDF files if needed. So we install the software tools to enable us to easily add the repository. We add it, press enter, the key is now added. This will allow BigBlueButton later on to find the right version of LibreOffice. Okay, and the last bit is we add the key for the BigBlueButton repository and the repository URL as well to sources.list. One final update, and now we can move on to installing FFmpeg. To install FFmpeg, we're actually going to copy a script from the install instructions. This will download the source for FFmpeg compile it, and install it. We just run it, give yes, and install the dependency packages as well. We're going to skip ahead actually in this video a little bit. We don't need to see the entire FFmpeg installation, so it'll probably take about 10 minutes. And it's going through. At the end, it'll install a Debian package, and then we can just type in FFmpeg version. There, running the right version. Okay, we're ready to install BigBlueButton. We'll use one command, sudo apt-get install BigBlueButton, and this will install all the BigBlueButton packages and all the dependencies and configure it for your server. Again, it takes a few moments to do it, so we're just going to advance ahead. You'll see it installing the packages and then starting them up, and at the end of it, we'll have BigBlueButton installed. Next, so we can try out the server easily, we're going to install the API demos. These are just simple demos, one of them launched from the home page of the server which will allow us to log in and try BigBlueButton. Final step is we're going to configure the server it's to enable WebRTC audio. You want to do this. And now we're going to restart BigBlueButton. So we'll use the BBBConf utility program to do a clean restart. This will shut down BigBlueButton, clean out the log files, and restart it in the proper order. And after the end of this, we now have a BigBlueButton server ready to try out. So here I've just launched Firefox, I've copied the IP address for the server. I'm going to enter my name, click join. This is now loading the client from the server. First thing I can do is I get to choose how to join the audio. I'll choose microphone, and now it makes a WebRTC audio call to the BigBlueButton server, and it'll bring me into the audio channel. I do a quick echo test. Yes, I hear myself, and there I'm in. Spread. <laughs> and you can hear me in the background. So this works. So at this point, you can use the command bbbconf uh, secret to get the uh, URL and shared secret for the server. But through the API demos, you can see it works. And that's how easy it is to set up a BigBlueButton server.